back of this barren wasteland. Sniper. Once more into the fray. It's horrible out here, isn't it? That guy's on fire. I can see a plane. Getting lively. Trench warfare. At its finest. This guy's still lying down. He is. Where are you? There you are. These two guys are having the time of their lives. Look at the destruction in the background. Oh no, that's not good. Tanks up in here. And infantry. Let's get a show on the road. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Oh no, that's tank. <laughs> this guy's hitting right for us. Good riddance. Oh, this is so fun. What is going on? People everywhere. It's absolute chaos. How many games can give you those kind of cinematic moments? And not only that, but also have some solid gameplay to go alongside it. The atmosphere in Battlefield 1 is absolutely the best in the Battlefield series. And it's a special game. I've been playing a heck of a lot of it. And I've got a video for you guys today, a couple of grand operations, one on Ballroom Blitz and another on Gallipoli. Of course I'm taking the sniper again, they've just made it too fun to use, it's impossible to not use it. I'm trying to level up to get to Recon 10, so I can take the Martini Henry, which everyone has suggested I use. You're in here, watch out. Spot in the loose. They've taken, they've already piled into A and they're piling into B. The airship makes such a big difference, especially at the start. Just rains down fire on our spawn location. This guy's sneaking around. Fire gave you away, son. Obviously I'm loving this game. Is that, in, is that bad guy? It is. Parachuted in. I forgot you can do that. Oh, here we go. Here we go, then. Is that what we're doing, is it? No, can't leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Not too much to ask. We're we'll taking B back, at least. You know what I'm kind of looking forward to? It's the Christmas period with this game. I don't know why. It's been quite festive. Another guy's parachuted in. Two guys. There's one more. Watch out. Not in the best position here, just in the corner, cowering. I think he's revived his friend. He he hasn't. There we go. Good job. I spotted him. Taking my uh, kudos for that. Well then. More and more stuff that's happening which we can do absolutely nothing about. <laughs> Look how cinematic that looks. It's a blue sky. That's amazing. Anyway, we've got a uh, water win here. Gas is it? Got a grenade in there. Get a grenade in the net. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. It's <laughs> decent little start though. We held them off. So, actually, whoever's doing this work back here, this guy and this plane taking down this Zeppelin, they're heroes. Heroes of the Empire. Oh, uh, wait, which Empire are we? <laughs> I think we're the German Empire. <laughs> Take that back. Right, let's, um, let's try and retake this point. Although we're defending, we can do a bit of attacking. Pseudo attacking. And regain the B point. We are losing objective Just see if there's anyone here. No, they've all they've all piled onto A. Right, so I think actually we're gonna take that pretty easily. Let's have a look this way. Oh hello. I wonder what that noise was. That looks so good, doesn't it? Whoa! You'll land right here, can that kill you? Probably. Oh, that's so good. Is this going to be cover now? It is going to be cover now. That is just exceptional. I can't shoot through it. <laughs> I've still got A, but what a good mode this is, isn't it? Grand operations. Watch out. Yeah, you stay there. I like that. I hope they um, have something like this in the new battlefield. Don't know why they didn't make a carbon copy of it for um, Battlefield 5. It's 
especially with things like the Zeppelin. That's awesome, isn't it? I didn't realise as well with these. What are you shooting at? What have you seen? Oh, that's it. <laughs> I didn't realise with these rifles that there's like a sweep spot mechanic as well. So there's a distance. I think with this it's like kind of between 75 and 100 metres. But if you hit them centre mass, well, that might be the distance there actually. It's a friendly getting in behind enemy lines, very sneaky. Big paratrooper -esque. Yeah, all these rifles got sweet spot mechanics and some are different to others. Well, they're all different to each other. And the Martini Henry, I believe, is very good for close quarters, which is, I'm assuming, why a lot of you guys are suggesting I use it when doing iron sights. But it's, uh, I can't believe I only just found that out. I think I've just been thinking, if someone goes down with one shot at that sweet spot range, I've just assumed they're low on life. 100 damage, kill them in one. They've made not only sniping incredibly fun in terms of how it sounds, how it feels, also incredibly effective. We're getting sniped from the other side of the map. We're really pushing up to the front line, We're not giving them any quarter. Plane, watch out. Oh, he's coming right here. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. How for a survivor? <laughs> At least someone took out the plane as well. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know if you want to see more of um, Battlefield. I'm definitely, I mean, I'm going to be playing it a lot. Once I break up for my Christmas holidays, this is going to be getting played the heck out of. It's fun trying to unlock stuff as well. I need to try some other weapons. Tried a little bit of the support using the MG. I've used like the anti-tank gun once and it's incredibly fun, especially against horses. So I need to use um, whatever that class is called, the assault class. A blinding light on that tank. I, I just find it so hard to not use a sniper in this game, or not use a rifle. It's stupidly fun. Hello. That was actually a pretty good camouflage. Kind of hard to see. That tank has just stayed alive, but he hasn't pushed in. So I think his determination to stay alive has been pretty detrimental to their cause. Look how good it looks with the trees as well. well this is their second attempt with the Zeppelin. As you can see, it's not going particularly well for them. Well, we managed to hold on that last game. And look at this map that we found ourselves in, Al. Gallipoli, on the big ship. We've got a Dreadnought with us. I should be bombarding them really, I don't know what he's playing at. We've got our little boats going in, but I just wanted to spawn on the big ship. Look how good this looks, while wow, we are getting sniped heavily. Honestly, some of these maps get me really wanting to look more into the history of some of these big battles. I don't know much about Gallipoli. I think it's some... Um, we hiding here, are we? I don't blame you, Bob. I think it tied, as far as I know, I think it tied the Anzacs and the Ottomans, Turks, quite closely together, because it was just such savage fighting. I'm try and counter snipe them up on their little tower. Ow. Take you out. I believe, was it the Sultan of... Um, the Ottoman Empire who wrote a letter to the Anzacs, parents. And it seems like there was a great deal of respect between the two. Anyway, that's, I really don't know much about Gallipoli. And this, gets, this kind of thing gets me interested. Who says video games aren't educational? Now, I don't know how to get... Okay, we'll take that route. <laughs> We've made up on the right-hand side. I like this. There were many attempts down the middle. You don't need to see them. Many deaths. We'll leave it there, shall we? Nice. Watch out, they're coming in. Sniper's pushing up. Um, let's get a flare out. There's a lot of people here, aren't there? This might be a bit challenging. Well, we are taking B, aren't we? Oh, what's that? That's a plane, isn't it? <laughs> well, while they're focused on B, we've had a little landing party on A. We're in here. Oh my gosh, they've got such a good foothold over... Such good viewpoints. This is going to be incredibly hard, hard to uh, 
take all this. Got a sniper by there. I'm very worried that they're going to be uh, sneak. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Sneaking them. Okay. Big gun came in. We've got a medic. If he survives. No, he's not going to survive. Now the gay's in trouble here. This is such a brutal beach landing. I like it a lot. I'd love to be defending. We've got some very good positions. Can we like work our way on to um, B? Just feel like people are all around though. There's a guy right here. I don't know what to do about that. I can't go over the hill. Because he'll, um, I'll just get shot by someone else, won't I? It's such a nicely made map. We're so close to the enemy. We're just on top of this hill. Trying to work our way around. Alright, we'll keep an eye on that. This guy's coming along. Take him out. There's a, um, there's a podcast I've been listening to for my history stuff. It's called The Rest is History. I really like it. It doesn't go into too much detail, which is just the right amount for me, to be honest. It's a good... I mean, more than an overview. That's, That's going to some... Job. There are some six-episode series. Oh, come on. Nice. I would highly recommend checking it out. And honestly, games like this, when I see this kind of battleground, this environment, it makes me want to... I want to see if they've got an episode on Gallipoli. Get that sniper out of here. I did just listen to a podcast on the start of World War One, the, the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, which was very, very interesting. And I'm not going to do it justice, given my mild overview, but basically they were arguing that um, World War One wasn't inevitable, that actually the assassination of Franz Ferdinand was quite impactful. I always thought it was going to happen no matter what, to be honest. And uh, maybe the assassination just sped things along, along a little bit. But yeah, that was a great little series. Very, very interesting indeed. Whoa. Thank you. You see, that's when the problem when you push too close. If I go over the top of he comes here, and we've got plenty of people in the back lines, they're going to take you out. We are taking B, though, but I think they've got A back. Get Acid Geoduck out of our little spawn area. Oh, no. We're in big trouble here. We lost, haven't we? How do we lose? I feel, I feel like the Dreadnought didn't do enough. Hate to put the blame on someone. Another defeat is not easy to bear. It cannot happen again. I think he should have pushed up. He was we hanging back a little bit. So I actually think it's only these bows he can, that everyone can spawn on. These little transport ones. So you guys are going around right. If you guys are going around right, maybe I should veer left. Change my course. That guy's just going up the guts, and I respect that. I respect that kind of bravery. Yeah, let's do this, shall we? Why not? This guy, I just... I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe going forward... Oh, no. I was going to say, maybe going forward isn't actually that beneficial for something like that. Oh, no, I'm going to... This is terrible. Okay, good. And we're beached. This is some, this is some high level stuff. Drop the ramp. How do I drop the ramp? Just get out. Oh, this is... I've, I've dropped them in maps. These slaughter zone here. There's fire there as well. I'm not getting out, I'm staying in. We'll repair. That's what we'll try and do. Yeah, don't spawn on this one. In fact, can we get out of there? I can't move. We're beached now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, wow, that's a better ramping. Behind a rock, that makes sense. A bit of cover. Not just into the jaws of the enemy. The boys are taking A. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Let's go, come on. We've got to move on past this first sector. That is shocking. That's a shocking attempt. Get a little flare in. I'm just, I'm just going to go. Just going to go. Yeah, let's have a go. Let's have a crack at them. We do need like a beach fan there though, otherwise they just push around, get behind us. Bit of a nightmare. The machine gun suppression is is one of the most brutal things. Your bullets just go all over the place when you gain suppress. We are losing objective apples. It's incredibly difficult. Nice. Plane going in. Pilots jumped out. Let's just hop straight into B. We're losing A though. You guys... Oh no, it's been A behind me. You guys get that. We need to go back for A. 
Let's go back. Come on. We have taken objective button. Let's go. Let's get through this sector. This is one of the most intense stars to a map. Surely this is the most intense star you can get on this game. A horrendous beach landing. Absolutely horrendous one. Enemy medic there! And they're all in there. Do I have any grenades left in this night now as well? Standing on there is a bit risky. Let's get up here, let's get up here. Oh, move out of the way. Can't see. Nice, well done. Is anyone getting around us? Yes, there is someone. I'm getting blown up by something. It's probably a plane. It's a plane, isn't it? Gosh, those planes are tough. Don't know what the best way is to take our planes. Here he comes again. No. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's just... It's too much. It's that one little way up. We've got to find another way. Okay. Finally, we can move on. It's exciting. Is this next point going to be any... Surely it's more forgiving, isn't it? Can't be less forgiving than that. What's our Dreadnought doing? Still just hammering it. It does look very good, doesn't it? Still absolutely hammering some rockets in. Oh, they're starting to hammer our Dreadnought. I don't like that. Let's try and take this guy out. Who is it? Who be you? What is it? What is firing at this? Ouch. Someone's seen me. I want to get to this missile thing. It's just up here, isn't it? It's just here. Oh! <laughs> okay. This is a B point, I didn't realise. I was just trying to focus on getting where we were shooting our uh, ship. We stumbled into B. Get a grenade on there. There's a lot of people there. Oh, nice grenade. And then peel back. And bravely run away. That's it. Ship, give us a bit of cover. But thanks for saving you. Saving your bacon. How have we gone behind? Not today, son. Not today. Yeah, we need him to start hammering this point, if we can. I just wait for some people to spawn on me. I think we're a good spot here. There we go. That's more like it. Can we go round a bit further? Wide flank. I mean, this is all available to us. I mean, we've taken B. Same guy. Didn't hit a single one of his shots there. That was with an LMG. They are taking it back straight away. Watch out, watch out, here, chaps. Whoops. We have lost objective oh no, there's two, I, there's two targets. A struggle. The other guy's pushing me now, is he? The same guy. He can't, he can't shoot. That's the, uh, that's the beauty of not your. <laughs> no, no. I want to live. It's been a good life. Oh, they've taken B back. Yeah, it's not looking promising, is it? I'm going to go out with a wind here. To the deck. Let's get him round. No, get him out of there. Come on, spawn on me again, squad mates. Squad mates. Always been burnt. Is this just, just going to anger him? Quite, they've got quite a lot of life, don't they, the flame troopers? He's coming this way. What's he doing? No. We've better stayed our welcome. <laughs> He's missing all those shots as well. It's panicking. I just wanted to see what this thing was like before we lose. Only like eight tickers left. What can we do? Guy there. Fire one in. Is that going to hit him? Oh, yeah, it is. This is a sniper's nightmare, isn't it? There's a guy there as well. I think he might be in a trench, though. A bit harder to hit. Assist counts as kill. Just see what it looks like in third person. Oh, I can't fire in third person. Just speculative. Oh, man. How do we not... If those ships can move, he should have pushed out of the channel. I don't know if they can move or not. Like rats, that was a great map, bro. Really good map. I pray for an end to this Thoroughly war. enjoyed that one. And that's it for this one, guys. As per usual, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and also think about subscribing. And if you want me to play 
to more Battlefield 1, just let me know in the comments. I'm definitely going to be playing it. It's just whether I post videos on it or not. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.